Welcome to QuietTitle.com. My name is Darren Finling, and I'm going to walk you through the Quiet Title timeline to Quiet Title to Properties in the state of Michigan. For more detailed information, you're welcome to call me directly at 877-YOUR-FIRM. That's 877-Y-O-U-R-F-I-R-M. This timeline will apply to any quiet titles in the state of Michigan, whether it be a tax reverted property, a property purchased at the tax sale, a gap in the chain of title, a dispute over the ownership of property, or some other title defect. The first step is to review the title history to identify who the defendants will be named in the lawsuit. These are the documents that are found in the chain of title at the register of deeds in which the county sits. After identifying the defendants, a lawsuit is prepared and filed in the county circuit court in which the property resides. There could be times that the matter would be filed in federal court, but most quiet title actions are filed in the circuit court in which the property sits. The most time-consuming and often the most complicated aspect is the service of this lawsuit. There's a requirement to attempt personal service upon any of the defendants. That means a process server or mail in the form of certified mail will deliver the summons and the complaint to the named defendants in the lawsuit. Very often in these lawsuits some of the defendants are unable to be located. That may be because they have a very common name, they have disappeared, or have uh, really avoided the service of this lawsuit. So we have to attempt alternate service. Generally, the courts require various forms of steps to be taken before the court will allow you to serve by alternate means. It may be internet searches, a completion of the personal service process, it could be first class mail, and other forms of attempts to locate the whereabouts of the defendant. The most common form of alternate service is by publication. In those circumstances, the court will sign an order that allows for the alternate service of the lawsuit by publishing in the legal news. That publication remains for 21 days to give notice to any of the defendants of the existence of the lawsuit. Once the service of process is completed, we call that period of time the opportunity to defend any of the defendants have the right to file an answer or a response of pleading to the lawsuit. Often, many of the defendants do not. In most circumstances, there is a 28-day period for the defense of that action. When the defendants are appropriately served and they do not respond to the lawsuit during the opportunity to defend, a default is filed in the county clerk indicating that the defendant has been served and no responsive pleadings have been filed. Once the defaults have occurred, it is time to prepare and file the motion for entry of default judgment. This judgment is a request of the court to terminate the interests of all of the defendants that are named in the lawsuit. That motion is filed in the circuit court with the judge that is assigned to the case. On the day of the court hearing, the judge assigned to the case reviews all of the pleadings to ensure that the lawsuit was pro appropriately filed and that the defendants have been appropriately served and afforded due process under the law, as well as that a default has been entered and the request for relief as stated in the motion is correct. If everything is there and appropriate, the court will grant the motion. And with that motion being granted, a judgment is entered. That judgment is a document signed by the judge and gets recorded in the Register of Deeds in the same manner as a deed, a mortgage, or any other recordable document. At this particular juncture, the quiet title action is complete. There's an appeal period that many title companies will require that you wait before they allow for a closing to occur because the judgment must be served upon the defendants to ensure that there are no appeals or motions to ask for reconsideration. At this point, the matter is concluded, judgment is perfected in the name of the plaintiff, and the quiet title action 
is complete.